In today's video, we'll be showing you how you can format and create a blog post using Writer AI. And we'll also be showing you how you can use Surfer SEO to get more blog post traffic and rank higher on Google. So if you don't know what Writer AI is, essentially it's an AI copywriter that allows you to write short and long form copy. So I've done a couple tutorials on this channel. I'll leave a link in the description below for some full length tutorials of Writer AI. But essentially, once you have an account of Writer AI, you're able to create long form blog posts using the different use cases and templates. You also have access to other short form copy templates, but in today's tutorial, we'll be focusing on long form blog posts. Now, on the other hand, Surfer SEO is an optimizing tool, and this is a tool in which you can use to optimize any of your pages or posts to help increase the chances of them ranking higher on Google. So the way that Surfer SEO works is that it takes the aggregate of information from the top ranking pages of Google for a certain keyword. So for instance, if you wanted to write a blog post on how to be a better public speaker, and we wanted to rank on the first page of Google, there's a couple key metrics that Surfer SEO will take into consideration and will recommend for us to do within our blog posts to help rank on the top pages of Google. So essentially, Surfer SEO will go through each one of these top ranking blogs and see how many words are within each blogs, um, what different topics they're talking about, what target keywords are included in the blog post, how many images, and so on and so forth. And then it will recommend that we follow those guidelines if we want to rank on Google. If you're still a little confused as to how all of this works, don't worry because we'll be going through a live example right now. So to get started using Writer AI and Surfer SEO, of course, you'll need to get an account for both softwares. Now I'll leave a link below this video for a free trial of Writer AI. So you can actually try it out for free. You have a limited amount of words that you can generate, but it's a good way for you to start using the software for free. I'll also leave a link in the description below in which you can grab an account of Surfer SEO. Once you're in your Writer AI account, the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that you're on the right use case. So before starting to create your actual content for your blog, we need to have an outline. So I'm going to use the blog idea and outline use case. And for my primary keyword, I'm going to copy and paste the keyword in which we found. So for this example, we'll be writing a blog post about how to become a better public speaker. And I'm going to change the variance to three. Um, what that does is it just gives me a little bit more options for me to choose from um, when it comes to the output that I get from the AI. So once I click write, the AI is going to give me um, a couple outlines for a blog post about how to become a better public speaker. So as we can see, we get a title right here. We get an introduction, the importance of practicing public speaking mistakes, four tips and a conclusion, how to become a good public speaker again. What is a good public speaker techniques? how to prepare for your next public speaking engagement, so on and so forth. So as you can see, we get three pretty good outlines here and you can always mix and match. So let's say if I liked this um, sort of H2 here, I can copy it and paste it um, on the actual format that I'll be using. So once you've created your outline on Writer AI, it's time to head over to Surfer SEO. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the content editor. And in that editor, we'll have a score between zero and 100 and we'll have a list of key metrics and recommendations um, that we need to follow to optimize our blog post. Now, once you create your content editor, this is what it's going to look like. So on the right hand side, we can see right here, we have a content score. Now your content score is a number between zero and 100. A higher number would mean that your blog post will have a much higher chance of ranking on the top page of Google. And obviously we haven't written any content. So right now it's only 15. But if we scroll down, we'll see our content structure. So right now the words we have is just 13 words and we have a recommendation of 2000 and 2300 words. So Surfer SEO is telling us from the first page of Google, the average blog post is between 2000 to 2300 words. So our blog post has to be within that range if we wanna rank in those top spots on Google. So for our headings, this is the recommended headings that we need for paragraphs, this is how many paragraphs we should include, and this is how many images we should also include within our blog posts. 
Now, if we scroll down, we'll be able to see our target keywords. So this will be the keywords that we have to include within our blog posts. So again, Surfer SEO has went through all of these top ranking posts and pulled out the search terms or the target keywords that are used over and over in these different posts. So obviously we're talking about how to become a better public speaker. So public speaking, speaking skills, body language, um, audiences, attention, public speaking engagement, so on and so forth. So all of the variations of the keywords that we're writing about, you'll find that within this section. If we go to headings as well, we can see um, some different headings and we get some natural language processing. Again, similar to the keywords that are um, found in all of the different blog posts. These are the keywords that we also need to include um, within our posts. So if we head over to the outline, we can actually see some outlines um, that the Surfer AI has generated. So how to improve public speaking skills, 30 tips for better public speaking, how to become a better speaker. So these are titles. So this would be sort of your main titles. And then your headings would be your H2, H3 tags. So tell me the best way to become a public speaker, the importance of strong public speaking, practice at home, so on and so forth. So sometimes I find that these headings are a hit or miss. So a lot of times they pull these from different blogs. And if we scroll down, we'll also be able to see questions. So these are some commonly asked questions in terms of our keywords. So what I like to do is I take a look at my outline that I got from Writer AI. I'm gonna head back over to Surfer SEO and I'm gonna take a look at whichever heading I like the best. So for instance, I think this is really good, the importance of strong public speaking skills. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna go back over to Writer AI and I'm gonna paste it in where I think it makes sense. So what are public speaking skills and then the importance of strong public speaking skills. I think that sort of makes sense in the order that they're at. So I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna head back over to Surfer and again, let me just go through and see whichever one I can add in. Why is it important to improve speaking skills? So that's sort of similar. So I'm gonna go down. How can I improve my public speaking skills? So I think that's pretty good as well. Let me see if there's something like that. How can I, nope. <clears throat> so right after public speaking mistakes you need to avoid, I'm gonna put how can I improve my public speaking skills. So just look through the titles and the headings and find relevant headers that you can add into your writer AI format to make your overall post a lot better. So now that I'm happy with my outline, it's time to actually start writing content for my blog post. So to start doing this, it's very simple. So I'm gonna first do it on writer AI, then I'm gonna transfer it over to Surfer SEO. Okay, so when we're creating content on writer AI, I'm going to copy the introduction and the keywords and I'm gonna click paragraph and the AI will start writing and give me some output based upon um, this um, topic and the keywords. So the first introduction talks about what are public speaking skills and we get three bullet points about what are public speaking skills. So pretty cool. I'm gonna just hit this again and see if we can get some more content as well. Okay, so once I do that, I'm able to get some more content, um, which is actually pretty decent. So it talks about what public speaking is, why it's so important. So cool stuff here. Again, I'm gonna try again to see if I get more content. I always try to get the most content that I can out of the AI, and then I just remove any redundant or any irrelevant information. Okay, so here we get some tips about public speaking. We don't really need those right now, so I can maybe save that um, for later. Okay, so once you're happy with your introduction, again, I'm gonna scroll down, but as I can see, this was actually the header that I got from um, Surfer SEO. So what I'm gonna do is, if you notice, um, in order to get very efficient or very high quality output from Writer AI, you should always add in your keywords. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add in my keywords here. Um, and, what, and in my keywords, I'm going to describe the topic in which I'm writing about. So I'm actually gonna remove these other keywords because I find that sometimes if you just do one keyword, um, it gives the AI a little bit more focus so you can get more um, direct content. So I'm gonna copy the topic and the keyword and I'm gonna click paragraph. So again, the importance of strong public speaking. Public speaking is a skill, da da da. That many people have to use. There are many ways you can prepare for a public speaking event. Okay, so it talks again a little bit about the importance of strong public speaking skills. 
Um, I'm, again, I'm gonna go ahead and click paragraph. Let's see what else we get. So as you can see, we get some really good content here from the AI that talks about why um, it's important to be a strong public speaker and how you can use this skill in your everyday life. So really good content here. Um, obviously this is a lot of content, so you, you'd wanna go through it and then remove anything that needs to be removed or add anything that needs to be added. Okay, so let's continue. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the importance of practicing public speaking skills. I'm gonna click paragraph again. Let's see what sort of content we get. Da, da, da. So it kinda is similar to the above um, topic here. So maybe you can combine these together. So public speaking mistakes that you need to avoid. Okay, so it talks about um, some things that people normally fear when they're doing public speaking and how to sort of get over that as well. So cool stuff here. Let's do it again. We're gonna um, highlight the last paragraph. Seems as though we ran out of content, but let's see if we can find a way around that. So one way to get over um, the issue if you've um, sort of exhausted all of the output from a certain topic, you can do another topic so that's similar to the one that you wanna write about. So common public speaking mistakes. And then keywords, again, I'm gonna copy this paste it, and then you wanna make sure that you're making this an H3 tag. So as you can see, this is an H3 tag, so we wanna make sure that the AI knows that this is a new topic that we're writing about. So I'm going to copy both of the topic and the keywords, and I'm gonna click paragraph. Boom, so as you can see, we get some more content here. Let's see what else we can get out of this. Okay, so again, it talks about some other um, common public speaking mistakes that we can avoid. And once you're happy with your output, just delete that. And there you go, you have a lot more content that you can work with. Okay, so let's continue here. Um, how can I improve my public speaking skills? Again, we're gonna put those keywords in there. And once you've added in your keywords, we're gonna hit paragraph. So once we keep prompting the AI um, to give us more content, as you can see, um, we're able to get new information and not just random information, it all has to do with what we're writing about. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same methods that we followed for the other headlines or H2 tags. And then once we're finished with the blog post, I'm gonna head back over to Surfer SEO. Okay, so here we go. I've um, went ahead and just continued to do the same method that we were doing before um, to get output for each one of the subtopics that we created when we made our blog post format. So as you can see, this is what the full length of the blog post would look like. Obviously, you would need to go into this and um, just maybe remove a couple of things, add in a couple of content as well, make sure that your, um, your spelling and your grammar is correct. But as you can see, it's pretty crazy because we have over 1800 words um, in under 20 minutes um, and it's pretty high quality content as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this content and I'm going to paste in the content that we got from Writer AI. And as you can see, we were at 15, but boom, we went all the way up to 57. So let's head back over to the guidelines and see what are the recommendations or the improvements that we need to make to get this to at least an 80 content score. So once we've cleaned up our document here, um, the first thing that we wanna do is take a look at the um, target keywords and see what we need to include. So, so we've actually done a pretty good job at uh, including the keywords uh, the first time we created it, so that's good. So for instance, we see public speaker here, we've used it um, seven times, so maybe we'll just remove um, two of the times in which we've used it. So public speaker. So what I do is I just search up the um, keyword. So if I wanna add it in, then I would search up where those words are and then find other places in which I can add in that keyword. But if I'm trying to remove it, I just search it up and then switch it with a different word. So as you can see for the keyword public speaking tips, um, we haven't included that into the uh, blog post. So what I would do is, so I would search up everywhere that we have public speaking, and then I would find a way in which we can add uh, tips in there. So whatever makes sense, um, I would add that in there. 
So once you go ahead and do that, once you have it within the right range, um, it's going to highlight green. So once that's green, then you're uh, good to go. Now, obviously you don't have to get every single one of these keywords to be green. It's okay if there's a couple of them that's removed or overused a little bit too much. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but you wanna go ahead and try to get this to at least 80 um, or above. 70 to 75 is still fine, but just to make sure that you're doing everything you can to get your blog post to rank higher on Google and get more traffic, then you wanna go ahead and try to get something within the 80 plus content score. So as we can see, all of our headings are in there. A lot of our natural language processing is also in there as well. So I'm gonna go back to outline and I'm gonna to go to titles and I'm gonna see where I can include these titles. So for instance, how to improve your public speaking skills. I could probably put that here. So how to improve. And then if I go back down to headings and sometimes when you do that, you'll get a jump in um, the content score. Um, sometimes you don't. So just sort of go ahead and see where else you can include a title or a question. And while I don't always use the headings or the titles um, just right off of Surfer SEO, what I do find is that the questions are usually pretty good. So what you can do is you can add an FAQ section on your blog post and you can literally just go ahead and then just copy and paste um, the FAQs or the questions that you get from Surfer SEO. So once you go through all of the titles and the headings and you found the headers or the titles or even the questions as well, um, that you in can include in your blog post, um, just head back over to guidelines and let's take a look to see where we can improve upon. So right now we have 1800 words, so we need about 300 more words. Okay, that's good to know. So it's saying we also need about 26 more headings. So right now we only have um, 10 and we need to have some more paragraphs and we need to have at least seven images. So I've went ahead and I've added in all of the outlines that was suggested by um, Surfer SEO and I've also added in seven images and I've added in some more content so right now we're at 2262 which is in the optimal range and as you can see we're at a content score of 73 out of 100 so that's not bad at all there's probably a couple more tweaks that I can do to get it to an 80 plus um, but if you're in that 73 75 zone um, that's usually pretty good you don't want to spend all day over optimizing just one blog post. You wanna get it to a decently optimized score. You wanna make sure that you're hitting those word counts, um, that you're getting a lot of those target keywords in, you're getting your images in, but most importantly, you wanna make sure that you have great, high quality, unique content within your blog post. So there you go. That's how you use Writer AI to help you write high quality content a lot quicker. And when you combine that with Surfer SEO, you can increase the likeliness that your content will actually rank and you'll actually start getting traffic and you can start monetizing your blog post. I hope that you were able to learn something from this video and I hope that you're able to utilize Writer AI and Surfer SEO to help create and optimize your content a lot quicker. If you enjoyed this video, then I ask that you give us a big thumbs up and that you subscribe for more videos in the near future. Until the next video, stay well.